All right, Nick, let's talk about the Chicago Bears, a team that's getting a lot of press in the media. And uh, whether or not that's good or bad press doesn't matter because for one player of the Chicago Bears, it seems like that locker room has kind of pushed out the outside noise and they knew they stayed true to themselves and it shows in the story that you're going to give us here in just a second. But Bears fans, football season right around the corner. Uh, your big day's coming up just just very close. And we want to know, through all of the teams that you're going to play this year, who are you the most excited about getting to play this season? Who do you want to see your Chicago Bears go up against? You know, is it, you know, a divisional opponent like the Vikings, the Packers, the Lions? Or, you know, is it one of the uh, teams you don't get to play so so often? Let us know in the comments below which team are you looking forward to play the most this season. But, uh, Nick, what's the interesting news about Chicago? Yeah, so the Chicago Bears, like every NFL team, they're gearing up for the season. That means picking their team captains. And according to NBC Sports Chicago, the Bears recently named who they're going to be their captains this season. On offense, it makes sense. You've got Cody White here and Justin Fields. But there's two interesting guys, and really one interesting guy, I should say this, on defense. That is none other than Roquan Smith. Uh, Ro- this is according to NBC Sports Chicago. Roquan Smith's nomination might turn some heads since he requested a trade from the organization. He claimed the organization did not negotiate in, quote, good faith and used hardball negotiating tactics to try and get him to sign a backloaded contract. Nevertheless, to your point here, the team is rallying around him and the four in unison as they head into the start of the regular season. All right, Mize, I think you hit the nail on your head in your opening remarks there where you see that the team, the locker room, the coaches pushed out the noise, the discussions between the player and the front office and the executives. Hey, that's business. That's a whole different side. It's time to play football, and we're rallying behind our clear defensive leader in Roquan Smith. What do you think of the Bears and Smith in this situation as we get ready for the start of the season? Yeah, Nick, if you let the media uh, soak up your opinion of players like we sometimes do very often— Uh, as people, as fans of the NFL, uh, then you would think, wow, that's crazy. You know, Roquan doesn't seem to want to be there, uh, yada, yada. But then if you take a step back and realize NFL is a business, we all know that, and the players in that locker room know that. So they leave the man, Roquan Smith, outside with, like you said, the contract negotiations, all that stuff is out of the way. But now they all rally around, like you said, the leader of this defense, one of the best players on this team in Roquan Smith, and everyone sees that potential. Everyone knows how he's going to be on the field. Uh, He's going to be a bright spot for this team, uh, a guy that you want to rally around. And it seems, uh, whether or not that we like to believe it or not, he is a big-time leader in this locker room, someone that people look up to. They trust him, uh, coaches and players alike. And I think this is kind of, you know, uh, a big time deal for Roquan Smith and his renewing his confidence uh, to want to renegotiate with the Bears and stay in Chicago because being a captain on a team, you know, it's not going to get you any more money or anything like that. But I think it's a pretty big deal uh, to know that your teammates like you, trust you, and think that you're a leader on the team. Yeah, you're exactly right. And two points I want to bring up here. I want to give a lot of credit to Ryan Poles and the, and the GM side, the executive side of the Bears organization, because you better believe every captain vote or appointment, depending on how they did it in that Bears uh, front on that locker room and the coaching staff, is going to be approved by senior management. They could have vetoed Roquan Smith very quietly. We would have never heard about it. The fact that those guys wanted Roquan Smith to be a captain, that tells me that the Bears leadership – They want Roquan Smith to not have the label of a locker room cancer, locker room bad guy. Because that's one of the things that can really hurt a player's negotiating power for long-term contracts. And once you get that label, it's really hard to lose it, even if it's undeserved. So I give a lot of credit to the leadership of the Bears organization. I think there's two reasons why. One, they still want Roquan Smith long-term, and as well they should. He's a great player. But number two, Roquan Smith is represented by CAA. They're one of the largest agencies for basically any talent, but in the NFL, Hollywood, everything. They're huge. They're massive. If they do not want to piss off the agents under CAA, for example, Roquan Smith's agent represents guys like Joe Burrow, 
for example. They represent all the big guys, all the big name guys. If you're a new GM trying to, you know, build up a new culture, remember new stadium, they're moving outside of Chicago, they're trying to reset the whole thing in the, with the Bears there. You don't want to piss off the leading agency group in the NFL or one of the leading ones that hurts your ability to get free agents. And one of the ways you can do with this, right, is by doing Ro giving Roquan Smith a solid here and say, hey, we're going to give you a team captain. You've earned it, you, and we really want to sign you long-term, but if it doesn't work out, we're not going to hamper you with somebody else by labeling you a locker room cancer. And by doing that, they kind of play both sides of it really smart here. Yeah, no, I like Poles' reaction. Like you said, uh, maybe it's a silent reaction or non-reaction, uh, letting it go through and uh, kind of letting the team make the decision. But Smith, he seems like a guy that's built to be in Chicago. I really like how he plays. Chicago's known for having, you know, you think Chicago, I think of my generation, Brian Erlacher, big time middle linebacker in the middle of, uh, of the field, uh, you know, other big time Chicago linebackers. Having a, a number one uh, inside linebacker for Chicago has always kind of been a staple of that defense. And a big name guy like Roquan Smith, uh, it just feels right for him to be in Chicago. So I have a feeling. Uh, if he plays well this season, they're going to get everything worked out. Everyone's going to end up being happy. But I like that Poles uh, is doing, you know, it's almost like everything was so tough now, but going into the season, he was like, okay, uh, let's back off a little bit. You know, we're not negotiating anymore. Let's, let's let it get better going into the season and see if uh, we can build back any bridges that we might have burned. Business is done. It's time for football, right? That's the vibe, and I think it's a great vibe. Both parties come together for the goal, right? And that's to win football games. So you got to appreciate that. All right, Nick, it's time to get your internet privacy back today on every device you own in any country you want. Don't let anyone but you control your internet. NordVPN keeps you safe from prying eyes wherever you go online with their military-grade encryption. Is your favorite Netflix or streaming content blocked in the U.S.? You can simply connect to one of the many countries available with NordVPN and get the access you need. That's right, Maya. So right now, get our exclusive NordVPN deal here at nordvpn.com slash SMI. It's risk-free, risk-free now with Nord, NordVPN's 30-day money-back guarantee. Again, get that exclusive deal, nordvpn.com slash SMI.